And for the first time, the Chinese government has put two luxury car brands, BMW and Mercedes-Benz, on its shopping list. Well, actual deals have not been reached yet. The decision is already raising controversy among the public. Zhou Jie has more. Cars for officials in China may not cost more than 450,000 yuan and must have engines smaller than 3.0 liter and low smoke emission. And they must also be produced domestically. Given that criteria, some BMW and Benz models now produced in new Chinese joint ventures qualify. As a result, the government's procurement agency will start buying certain models of these prestigious brands. Just for the policy, I think it's a fair one. At least, it can avoid accusations like trade protectionism, as China is calling for the world to abolish trade barriers in global trade. While policy is policy, much of the public is still not satisfied, and many are angry with the government for purchasing the two luxury brands. They think public servants should not use such high-end automobiles, and even if there is need for more cars, homegrown brands can be a more economical solution. In a survey involving nearly 100,000 residents online, almost 98% voted against buying BMW M vans. Some reject the luxury brands partly because of the behavior of the rich people who drive such fancy cars, but also because they expect their government to support homegrown brands. Well, the government has been working to boost internal demand, just like the big stimulus plan. It should also support domestic manufacturers. So why not leave the contracts for homegrown brands? Government decision does influence public buying behavior. For example, after Audi becomes official cars, many took pride in having an Audi sedan, thinking the brand represents honor and status. So if the government buys more homegrown auto brands, domestic manufacturers can also benefit. In 2000, the government purchased nearly 40,000 vehicles for official use. But seven years later, that number had jumped to half a million. That was 20% of government purchases made that year and totaled 10 billion yuan. And the demand for automobiles keeps growing. Zhou Jie, ICS Force, DCTV.